My name's Kate and I am currently a trainee advanced clinical practitioner specialising in paediatric ophthalmology through the University of Sheffield. Within my current trainee advanced clinical practitioner role, I spend my week across a number of specialty clinics. I work within the paediatric ophthalmology clinic alongside the consultant ophthalmologist for paediatrics. I also spend some time in the adult ocular motility clinic where patients with squint might end up at a later time in life and also gives me great opportunity to see a, a wide range of um, different eye conditions and develop my skills in a different way. And I also spend some time within the clinics with our optometrists learning to undertake retinoscopy and refraction, supporting the testing of, for example, of glasses or accommodation to help um, support the holistic management of the children under our care. Within my average working week there isn't really a set structure at the moment within my trainee role. I might work within the paediatric ophthalmology clinic, I might also sit in with a more specialist clinical service to gain a wider insight into more complex management of specialist cases which will support my care within the paediatric setting. For example, I might say sit within the eye casualty service to look at emergency ophthalmic pre presentations within paediatrics or I might sit within a neuro-ophthalmology clinic to understand more about the wider care that our patients need. My decision to train within the ACP role um, was driven really, I guess, from my prior experience. I've worked as an orthoptist for a number of years, but I've always had a slight preference for finding that the paediatric side I find more fulfilling. I've had experience working with paediatric low vision clinics, and for me, I think the next step sat quite naturally to take on this extended um, and enhanced role as an advanced clinical practitioner to support the greater breadth of patient care from their presentation all the way through to discharge and having more input into the range of clinical assessments I can offer. So I've got two streams of training really at the moment. I've got my more formal educational um, training where I'm undertaking a master's in advanced clinical practice. I'm specialising in paediatric ophthalmology through the University of Sheffield and that involves lots of time spent more on sort of reading around subjects um, and undertaking a more theoretical um, knowledge review. I've also have lots of training opportunities on a more practical level within the paediatric ophthalmology clinics at my local trust and this also supports the master's requirements. The training which I'm undertaking will really help build the depth and breadth of my knowledge, skills and experience. It gives me a much more structured way of approaching paediatric ophthalmic care because it takes each subject bit by bit and gives me the formal knowledge to support the skills which I use in clinic. As I continue to develop my skills and experience, that will support me undertaking a larger proportion of patient examination and the patient journey within the eye clinic. Once I'm qualified as an advanced clinical practitioner in paediatric ophthalmology, I hope to be able to better support our service within the eye clinic. I'd like to be able to then give a more holistic experience to the patients, the children, young people and their families that come into our care and be able to really look at them right from the beginning all the way through to discharge. The greater breadth of skills that I'm acquiring through my training programme, I see being able to let me interact with a wider range of patients and also undertake liaison with a broader range of, of other healthcare professionals, educational professionals, things like the teachers, um, helping the children with vision impairment within the school setting or looking at how the children and families we need how we can balance their multiple medical needs across a number of different specialities.